Hi guys. Hi, I'm cooking. I'm making like a creamy mushroom pasta. But first we need to make a drink because it's Friday, right? It's Friday. I'll show you how I make it. It's really just like a ton of mushrooms that you fry up in butter with herbs, and then like the last few minutes, you throw in some cream. It's really good. So I'm gonna juice a grapefruit. I'm drinking, um, I usually do fresh citrus with vodka. That's really all I drink or I drink wine. Um, but especially when it's nice out, I love some nice citrus. You always need a rotisserie chicken, always. This is a ruby red grapefruit. I also like pomelos. That's like, I think it's a, that's an Asian grapefruit. Yes, it's very nice today, actually. Hi, what's everyone doing? We're gonna start cooking. But first I like it to have a little nice little drink. I love the pulp, so I kind of just scrape it in with my hands. It's my drink, guys. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little vodka. And honestly, there's just nothing like freshly squeezed. I know that sounds very, very bougie of me, but that's the truth. I'm not bougie with many things. I'm not really a huge soda fan. I do love like a Coke Zero or I love Fresca. Did you ever hear of Fresca? Fresca is so good. I love those with vodka also, but I haven't really bought um diet soda or anything because honestly i feel like the soda right now is so freaking expensive like i'm not paying eight dollars for a case of soda i'm not and i splurge on shit you know i'll buy shit but that's bizarre i'm not doing that mm -mm, not doing it okay let's pour a little vodka probably like two shots three shots i'm not a bartender It's a heavy pour. It's Friday, okay? It's a Friday, and I didn't drink all week. I've been trying to, like, only drink on the weekends. Wow, my hair really looks like shit. Guys, I really just hop on here, like, not even caring what I look like. Okay? <laughs> Some people, like, put full face and makeup. Like, they go ham to hop on live, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm putting on my cooking clothes. <laughs> So I'm making mushroom pasta, and the first thing you want to do is fry up an onion, um, and then chop up a ton of mushrooms and fry up the mushrooms. So let me get the onion first. Listen, I can't destroy my clothes, so there's like, you know, you have certain outfits that you clean in, certain outfits that you cook in. I mean, it's the truth. 
unless you, unless you don't, unless I, unless that's only me. <laughs> I am making a creamy mushroom pasta. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some butter in here. So I'm probably gonna do like a half a pound of pasta. That's usually enough for us. Um, but I hate that I always have a ton of open pastas in my cabinet. You know what I mean? My girls are with their father. They're hanging out in the basement. I'm gonna put you, let's say. So I'm gonna put in like a half a stick of butter. No, I'm just careful of my clothes because I can't afford to keep buying new clothes. And there's nothing I hate more than grease stains on your outfits. Because oil really does destroy your shit. So what's up, guys? What are you guys cooking for dinner? Can you come over and swim? <laughs> my kids cannot wait for the pool to be open. Oh, my God. And you know what? I can't wait either because I feel like... It just gives me something to do with them every day. You know, like we're, st I'm tired of being stuck in the house. I have to revamp my yard. My kids need toys. If you have any like recommendation for outdoor toys, let me know. Cause I don't know what to get them. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up this onion. I'm going to fry it up and then we'll chop up the mushrooms. Your kids love sticks. Yeah, well, my kid's been playing with, like, dirt lately, which I'm, I'm cool with, you know, but they want to spend all day outside in the summer, and then they want me to be the entertainment, and I don't want to be the entertainment. No, I want you to have other entertainment. <laughs> I honestly haven't even been following the TikTok ban because I feel like society, like, will just make you be focused on one thing like right now everyone's focused on the on the tiktok ban but just so you know if tiktok does i don't even know what the deal is why it's getting banned or whatever something with freedom of speech i'm aware of but i i honestly am not following it so if we do get banned though just follow me to youtube i'll be on youtube so these are shiitake mushrooms you normally don't eat the stems to these they're a little more woodier so i'm gonna just chop the stems off and i'm just gonna slice them nice take my first sip guys cheers happy friday thank you for being here thanks for hanging out with me i love hopping on live i don't really get to do it as much because i like to only really come on live when my husband's home um because if my kids start acting like crazies like that's not something i want to put on the internet i'm not the parent that like lets their kids bug out on live will never be me um so if you see that i'm only going live like randomly that's the reason why I do not clean the mushrooms, no. I don't. These mushrooms, where do you see dirt on this mushroom? These are beautiful mushrooms. Literally, so fresh. You want to clean your mushrooms, you do you. I feel like shiitake mushrooms are super woody. They're very meaty, so if you're a vegetarian, like, this is the mushroom for you. You want to send me some shirts? What kind of shirts? These pants, I can't use a straw because of the pole. These pants are from Rainbow. Honestly, I don't clean my mushrooms. You never put them in water because they they waterlogged. Um, what's the dry paper towel going to do? Listen, this is how you build antibodies in your body. This is why me and my kids are rarely ever sick. Very rarely are me or my children sick. Even my husband, honestly. Natural antibiotics. A little dirt never killed ya. My P.O. box is in my bio. I am drinking Tito's Vodka with just fresh grapefruit juice. I squeeze the grapefruit juice. I'm chopping up the shiitakes. Um, and then we're going to fry them in the butter with the mushrooms. I have my uh, my onions on low right now. I just have them sweating out a little bit. Um, 
and the mushrooms are going to all cook together and they kind of like make their own stock. Like you don't even really need to add much. I would love to add a splash of white wine, but I don't have any. Um, so I may just add a little splash of vodka, we'll see. Or maybe like a splash of chicken stock. We'll see how I feel. I can even do a splash of balsamic vinegar. We'll see how I'm feeling when that time comes. You're not supposed to dip your mushrooms in water because they hold on to the water. The mushrooms are like little sponges. You can wipe them with a paper towel if you feel more comfortable doing that, but honestly, I, I never do. I learned to cook, I don't have any masala either. I learned to cook with my mother and my grandmother just like hanging out in the kitchen. That was like our norm. Um, they were, my grandmother was like always cooking something, like always. I have my dishwasher on, so if you hear a bunch of shit going on. Um, I am watching Vanderpump. I don't know if I'm up to date. I'm not like too far off, but I may not, if there was a new one on like within the week, I haven't seen that. Yeah, these are, honestly, if they have, like, sometimes you'll, you'll get the mushrooms and they have little clusters of dirt. I will, of course, wipe that off. I'm not going to put literal dirt crumbs in my food. But look at this mushroom, guys. There's, like, literally no dirt on the mushroom. You know, it's just got to take it as it comes. Sometimes your mushrooms are a little more dirty than, than, than my mushrooms, you know? It depends on where you're getting them. Sometimes I can, even in just the container, like some of them will look dirtier than the other. But I actually read that mushrooms are one of the cleanest vegetables. Don't quote me. Go on Google and look at, you know, figure it out yourself. <laughs> My husband uh, works for corporate T-Mobile. He's an account executive. Just, these mushrooms are just such a nice consistency like I wish you could feel this do you see how thick the texture is of this mushroom this is literally like if you are not someone that eats meat this is the mushroom for you guys I will admit I okay so that that uh, rotisserie chicken that I posted that wasn't today I recorded that yesterday but I did eat meat today like forgetting that it was Lent so I'm sorry God I'm making mushroom pasta tonight okay I'm going to add these in while the mushrooms, while the onions are very low, while I cut my other mushrooms. So mushrooms also will wilt down. So if you're making a pasta that's predominantly the mushroom, use a lot of them, a lot more than you think you need. So the mushrooms that vegans use, I'm pretty sure they're called seafood mushrooms. I actually just saw them at the Asia market. Um, they're kind of like eno. Um, I'm gonna need moderators too. I, it's a, how does it work, guys? I'm like new to this whole TikTok shit. Um, like I'm pretty good with like the editing and stuff now, but as far as like if you pick a moderator, do they stay your moderator or do I have to keep picking people? And like, are they just on all the time? Like, do you guys just hop on? Do you get notified when I go live? Like, that's cool. Thanks for thanks for hanging with me. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Wow, my mods are on here. You guys are chilling. I love that. I am making a uh, creamy mushroom pasta. I'm going to be using farfalle, which is also known as bar uh, bow ties. Um, and right now I'm just frying up mushrooms in butter. And see, like these, these mushrooms, some of these are a lot dirty. Like this I will wipe. Now this I'm going to wipe. I mean, this is where I tell you not all mushrooms are the same. This I'm going to wipe. These are the baby bellas. You don't have to toss the stems on these. The shiitake mushrooms, I, I do toss the stem because they're kind of inedible. They're very, very woody. But I'm going to do um, predominantly of the shiitakes anyway because I just feel like they have a better taste. I What do I have planned this weekend? I don't even know what I have planned this weekend yet. What is, what is this weekend? Because for this whole week, I was thinking this weekend was April 1st. So I was already a week behind. I was already a week off.
How did my family feel about me not having a big wedding? I don't really have a big family, so they, there wasn't really much to say, honestly. I don't really have, like I know people, you have, you and you're Italian, people assume you have like this huge lovey-dovey family and that that's just not something that I can relate to. That's another reason why I'm like so, you know, constant with my kids because I want them to feel that growing up. You know, I want them to feel that lovey-dovey, you know, feeling. Favorite pasta noodle. I love angel hair. Um, and like capellini. I love really thin noodles. Yeah, so that was like my goal also. Like when I was getting married, I always wanted to make sure I married somebody that I knew. Like even if me and him didn't end up working out, like he would still be a good father. You know what I mean? Like that's like a big deal for me. My favorite restaurant in Brooklyn. I used to go to Carmine's a lot in Williamsburg. That was like my favorite pizza spot. Um, where else did I go? What else do I like in Brooklyn? The Ranzazzo's by Sheep's Head Bay. I mean, it's been a very long time since I went out to eat in Brooklyn. Um, just because it's, it's like so far from me now. Do I watch Housewives of New Jersey? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? Best quality you love about your husband. My husband is very patient. And we are the absolute opposites, me and my husband. And I think we get along so well because he, like, instantly calms me down. He just, like, I don't know. We, like, just vibe together perfectly. Um, he is polar opposite than me. Quiet, secluded, like, keeps to himself. Barely even goes on social media, you know? But um, I am making a creamy mushroom pasta. So I'm chopping up. These are shiitake mushrooms. And I have a few baby bellas in there. I'll show you the pot as soon as I'm done with these mushrooms. I have about four more. Um, I'm just cutting the stems off them because I said that the shiitakes have a very woody stem. And they don't, they don't break down the way the mushroom does. Um, so I cut the stems off. Um, I haven't had a new tattoo in so long and I really don't see them in my future anytime soon because I have other things that I would rather spend that money on right now. Thank you. <laughs> what did I give up for Lent? I gave up self-negative talk. So like talking shit to yourself basically. All right, let me just wash my hands guys. All right, let's see what's going on. You want to you look in the pot now? And my team, Melissa, or Teresa, it's so funny. Every time I hop on live, people ask me this. And it's like, if you are an OG Real Housewives of New Jersey, you're team Melissa. I mean, you're team Teresa. M Teresa, not Melissa. Oh, wow. I mean, she's the OG, guys. All right, I'm going to put a little olive oil, and I'm going to put salt in these mushrooms. So, a few things about mushrooms is... It depends on how you are going to be using them. I'm going to put probably like two or three tablespoons of olive oil. There's a lot of mushrooms in here. Um, depending on how you are using the mushrooms. So today I'm going to be salting these mushrooms pretty, um, pretty like early in the game because I want the moisture to come out of them. I want the mushrooms to cook in the moisture because I want that for my pasta. But if I was just doing like a sauteed pasta, I would salt the mushrooms right before serving. Because then it holds all that moisture in. But where is my salt? Hey, is there any more salt? Where in the spice cabinet? Oh, with the cans. Not in this nice kitchen. 
You know like when you put something away and you weren't the one that did it and then you can't find it? Favorite meal at McDonald's? I mean, who doesn't love a Big Mac? I love a Big Mac. I also love McChickens, but I, I put bacon and cheese on them. All right, I'm gonna turn this up now and I'm gonna put a little bit of something in here. Let me see. Smells so good already. Were you shocked when the video of you and Mariella blew up? So I say this all the time. The reason why I was shocked when that blew up was because I do these elaborate cooking recipes on here, okay? And that's what blows up. Me stuffing my face with mozzarella and prosciutto. Not one of my elaborate videos that took all this time, edited, picked the perfect song. Not one of those. So I let it fry down with just whatever that minimal fat was because I'm getting the fond on the bottom of the pan. I'm going to let that go and I need to put a little liquid. Let me see what I'm going to use. I don't want to use the vodka because I don't have much left. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do some balsamic vinegar. like a half a cup of stock and I'm gonna put my fire I want to put my flame up because I don't want it to be like soupy I want them to just soak up that stock and get nice and caramelized in the meantime I'm gonna put my pasta water on yeah Serafina really enjoyed those uh, uh, peanut butters Someone was like, oh, you you didn't have such a happy face on, but I also am not like a huge sweets person. Like I'm not really a fan of sweets. Um, I mean, if you send me a loaf of sourdough, trust me, I'll be smiling ear to ear. Favorite cheat meal? I don't really have anything as like a cheat food. I'll eat whatever in, in like moderation. Um, but my go-to is always like sushi and like Asian-y food. We love Chinese food and like Korean food. I have a lot of that around me too. Route 27 has a lot of delicious Asian food. Nutley Clifton area. I have heard it, I just don't know like where it is, but I'm not far. My favorite sushi roll. I like the sashimi, I just eat like the raw pieces. Um, but sushi roll, I'll eat any sushi roll. I am um, Sicilian actually but i do cook all sorts of things asian food indian food italian food this is why i don't really do takeout because i'm like i feel like my food is so much better that's why i hate spending the money on takeout but i do love to go out with my husband like a nice date night wine and dine even though it's very rare because we don't really have help here and i Especially like not being from the state. I, I, I can't just like go on the internet and find a babysitter. Like just like not in me to do it. So like we kind of just save our date nights for when we have the help. And then we just go hard. Like I'll just want to go to the best place. I want to spend $500 because I haven't went out in three months. <laughs> yes, I have a pool. I'm drinking fresh, first of all, it's so delicious. The grapefruit and the vodka is perfect. It's just fresh squeezed grapefruit um, with Tito's. I have made a perineal and I made like arroz con gandules. That wasn't too bad, right? Um, but I mean, I don't know if it was as good as the Puerto Ricans. You're gonna have to teach me. I'm gonna put my pasta on. Guys, I really still need someone to do my eyebrows. Like, I really need an eyebrow lady. So, if you're in, like, the central New Jersey area, please DM me and tell me where you are because I really need an eyebrow lady.
gonna put your pasta water on and salt it. So I do use table salt to salt my water because you want to salt your pasta water like the sea. And for the amount of money I spend on the good salt, I can't waste it in here because you need like three, four tablespoons. So I remember I put this in one of my videos and someone was like, that salt is so bad for you. I agree, girl, I agree. But I am not wasting my $15 salt. <laughs> yeah i cook every day too people actually say to me do you ever go takeout like i love takeout guys if it was up to me i'd eat takeout every day like just as much as i love cooking i also enjoy like not cooking and having the food brought to me and not having to clean up after it you know what i mean but it's just nothing like home-cooked food and when you're raised on home-cooked meals it's very different for you to just get takeout every day it's like not my norm like me getting takeout when i was younger was like wow we're gonna get takeout tonight it was like a big deal like my kid she has dance and every time she has dance she wants a freaking mcdonald's happy meal i'm like do you understand like i only got mcdonald's like twice a year growing up and it was like it had to be when the big mac was like buy one get one i'm not even kidding you my mother would go to the store she'd go to mcdonald's she'd buy like 10 big macs and she would freeze them okay i'm not kidding you crazy <laughs> even with takeout you're still cleaning which is why if i'm gonna get takeout i want to go out to eat i don't want that shit coming to my house you know so i am gonna be putting a ton of fresh herbs in here but i like to add that at the last minute so if you see in this pot the liquid that i just put in let me get my thing hold on so you saw I put like about a half a cup of liquid in. That's already gone because the mushrooms are soaking it up and it's like wilting away. So I'm just going to keep adding them. This is also how you do a quick caramelization on onions because the caramelized onions can like literally take all day. Um, but if you add a little liquid, like every time it's gotten to look a little dry, just put a little splash of liquid and it'll cook down and your, com and your onions will caramelize in like half the time. Like, look at the color of the stock now. Look at the color of what's coming off of the bottom of the pan. See how it's, like, nice and dark now? It's, like, just creating its own gravy. And essentially, it's just, like, a very mushroomy, mushroomy gravy, if that makes any sense. Um, so all I have in here so far is butter, olive oil, an onion, about, like, maybe two pounds of mushrooms, salt, and chicken stock. Yeah, me and my husband have the same bank account also. I mean, I'm bringing in this, some money, but he's obviously the breadwinner. Hi from UK. That's so cool. Hey from New Jersey. Do I bake? Do I like to bake? So I can bake and certain things I will bake, especially around the holidays. Um, but the thing with baking is it's very like precise and it's kind of like a science experiment. And I like to just do like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm not so structured with my cooking. That's why it's like also so hard for me to give you recipes. So if I give you like measurements, guys, it's because I actually took my time and tested the recipe and gave you the measurements because I don't cook with, with like measuring shit, you know? Hi, from Queens, so cool. I have never been to Chicago, no. Ooh, Atlantic City. I'm like such a, I'm like, I can't even go to Atlantic City anymore because I'm such a, like a, I can't, I just lose control there. <laughs> mm. But, it does need a little ting, so I am gonna put some balsamic. And that's just going to deepen it. I put about probably like a quarter cup of that. You are going to finish with heavy cream. I'm putting more salt also. You are going to finish with heavy cream. Um, but that's like the last few minutes. Because you don't want the cream to curdle. Guys, I really wish you could smell this. It smells so freaking good. 
Hello from Tel Aviv. That is so freaking cool, guys. Hey. Hey from Jersey. Hi from LA. Said love from Miami. Guys, that's so cool. I should make a recipe book. You know, I have vermouth, but I have dry vermouth. I don't think that's the same. My birthday is February 1st. You don't have to put cream. No, you can totally use it just like this. 100% just like this. I am going to be adding a ton of fresh parsley, and I do have fresh oregano. I'm going to put that in now. Guys, this is the oregano that I bought last week at that Bravo supermarket. It's still, like, beautiful. Look how beautiful it still is. Not oregano. This is thyme. Don't listen to me. It's thyme. In the summer, I have all of my fresh herbs, but right now they're all dead. But, you know, thyme does come back. So my thyme is a perennial. Um, rosemary is a perennial. I think parsley may be a perennial also. People, like, go on the live. I've been on other people's lives, and they're like, oh, my God, share my life. Thank you for the gift. Yeah, like, go on ham. And I'm just like, are you guys interacting with your followers, or is this, like, a game show? Like, that's not – I'm sorry. Like, if, if – I. I'm just like very uncomfortable with that. <laughs> people are like, if you share to this many people, we get to do this and this and that. It's like, guys, if you want to share and like my stuff, thanks. Like that helps me, obviously. I totally appreciate it. But I'm not going to be the person where it's like, yeah, share it, please. Like, oh my God. Some people are like, if you follow me, you better do this and you better do that. Like, I don't got to do shit. <laughs> okay, that's all. I also like don't know what it means if you share and do all these things so I appreciate it but I have no idea what's happening <laughs> I'm gonna hop on YouTube for sure I'm gonna hop on YouTube I am making a creamy mushroom pasta so right now I have mushrooms in here I have shiitakes and I have baby bellas and I put like a splash of balsamic I put some chicken stock um, and then the last few minutes I'm going to be adding some heavy cream See how the, the color is just completely changing. Ow. The color is changing. And it's just starting to like break down. You see how it's like half of the amount now? I am drinking grapefruit juice and Tito's. Fresh grapefruit juice and Tito's. My eyes look sparkly. Ooh. I do have my ring light on because I remember there was someone and I was like actually dying. They were probably making fun of me, but like I totally agreed. In the beginning, it was like someone get this lady a ring light or someone get this lady a tripod. And I'm like, yeah, someone get me that. I, you guys, in the beginning, I bought so many and I like didn't know I hated them all. I actually just found one I liked. Thanks, guys. You guys are so freaking cool. Is there really 1.5K people on here right now? That is so dope. Yeah, I... Okay, so the thing with me... I'm going to put a little more stock in here, guys. When I was pregnant, I don't... I didn't like... And I'm really not real... I'm not like a huge drinker. I, I do enjoy a glass of wine. Like, I'll probably have a drink at least once a week. I don't know if that's considered a huge drinker. Um, but... When I was pregnant, I think I wanted it so much more because of the fact that you couldn't have it. You know what I mean? I am making mushroom pasta. You're not really supposed to eat meat today. Although, I'm not going to lie. I did eat meat for lunch. And it was totally unintentional. So, hopefully, Jesus will forgive me. It was unintentional. And then I was already in it. I was already in the mix of it, you know? And I'm not talking about the rotisserie chicken because that was yesterday. I went to this place called Tasty Moment on Route 27. Oh my God. If you guys like like soup dumplings and like real Asian food, like not like Chinese Americanized takeout, like real Korean food. I'm not even sure what type it is, but this place is called Tasty Moment. It's on Route 27 in Edison, New Jersey. It's in the same parking lot as the H Mart. That place is so bomb. Like it's one of the best restaurants that I've had in, in New Jersey for sure. I'm making mushroom pasta. I'm going to taste that. It needs more salt. I am definitely looks like I'm using a lot of salt, but I have a lot of mushrooms in here, guys. 
So towards the end, I told you I'm going to finish it with some cream. And I'm going to show you the cheese I'm going to use. Dom Peps. Oh, my God. I love Dom Peps. The best seafood. So I have some of this pasta, the little shavings. I'm going to toss that in like right before serving. Um, and I also am going to be using grated cheese, regular grated cheese, like Locatelli. Let me just check on my hubby. Are you guys good? They're all, they're not solving yet? What's in the, what's in the uh, bag anyway, babe? But what though? Can you tell me? Why? Can you tell me? Why'd you do it to me? That's for you. I have one. How far are you from the Philly area and do you need any more mom friends? Guys, I can always use a mom friend. I don't really even have that many mom friends. Half the friends I have aren't even moms. <laughs> and I also don't really have a ton of friends. And I don't mean, I don't say that to be like depressing. I just feel like the older you get, you kind of limit the, the amount of people like you keep close to you, me personally. Um, mainly because I say this all the time. I'll never be the friend that listens to you talk shit about all of your friends. Okay, because then I know that you're talking shit about me to all of those friends. Also, how can I ever feel confident of sharing stuff with you and opening up if I know you're talking shit? It's just like not my vibe, guys. It's just not my vibe. Oh, my mom's on, guys. Hey, Ma. <laughs> guys, if you ever see someone writing hot faces to you, it's most likely my mom because she is just, she loves, she loves my, my ticky tack. She calls me ticky tack. That's what she says. I'm making creamy mushroom pasta and I'm drinking a nice vodka and cranberry. I'm uh, not cranberry, grapefruit. Island Spine Edison. Okay, but wait, I heard something about this. Tell me if it's true. Are you, is it true that you can only go in there naked? I heard the pools don't let you wear bathing suits. Yeah, most friends talk shit. I'm sorry, guys. That's why I have very few that I'm very close with. Like, I have a handful of friends that I'm very close with rather than, like, a ton of friends that you're like, ugh, mediocre with. You know what I mean? Quality over quantity, babe. Can I talk about my Connie salad? What about it? It's delicious. It's just Connie, um, a splash of mirin, I believe, sesame oil, QP mayo. I use masago, which are like those little fish eggs. You can get those at the Asian market as well. Connie salad? I'm probably not saying that right, guys. So I'm very grateful that I get to be a stay-at-home parent. You know, not many women are in the position where they are, can stay home with their kids. So I never want to come off like I'm complaining. Sometimes in my videos, like I'm just really sharing with you how I'm feeling in that moment. And then like a couple of days later, I'll watch them back and I'm like, well, I hope people don't like judge me for that, you know, because just because you have a bad day here and there doesn't mean you hate your life. Because I feel like people automatically assume like, oh my God, she's miserable. Like, you can't tell me you're happy every day. I don't believe that. I literally don't believe that. Thanks for sharing my life, guys. That's so cool. You know, bad bitches have bad days too. <laughs> so tips for women who want to be a stay-at-home parent. I was unintentionally a stay-at-home parent. I always worked. I just stopped working with Mariella, mainly because when it was time for me to figure out when I was gonna go back to work, we couldn't find anyone to help us with Mariella. Like we were gonna rely on some family and then that didn't end up working out. Um, and then as far as like hiring somebody to come in my home was like a fiasco. So in the long run, we were spending the same amount of money if I was going to work or if I was staying home. So. I'm gonna put cream in, but I'm gonna put cream in at the very end. I don't like when the cream cooks for long, it kind of gets like curdly. I like it to be nice and luscious. So right when my pasta starts to be finished cooking, I'm going to add some cream. But I didn't even throw my pasta in yet.
Thank you, guys. It is spring, yes. It's beautiful here. I have my door open. Do you see my door? Well, I have my screen door open. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do have an older half-brother, but we don't have a relationship. <laughs> Pasta with oil and gog, you cannot go wrong with that. Thank you. I feel like I been trying to not put so like so many hot tools on my hair so i've been just like trying to throw it up at my face from sydney that's so cool hey from jersey there's a lot someone says they're a college student with no kids but still follow me it is crazy to me how many younger women follow me and by younger i mean like early 20s like what am i providing for you i mean i love it I really do, but what am I providing for you? When I get a pet, I have a dog. And honestly, I love my dog to death, but I probably won't have another animal after her. I am drinking grapefruit juice with vodka. I think it's time to make another one. What do you guys think? I'm going to be making a half a pound of pasta just because when I make a whole pound, I have so many leftovers and nobody freaking eats it. Okay, so no, I'm trying to be a no waste queen, right? I'm trying my hottest. But do you see this consistency right now, guys? Like you see how when I move it, it's kind of just like sticking to the bottom. That's what you need. But I'm going to just keep adding my stock until it's time to add the cream. Just because you the longer you cook it, it's not going to do anything but deepen the flavor. When you toss it up, you're gonna throw in cheese and it's all gonna get melty together. Mm. And it's like, I that's why I try to not make as much extras to have the leftovers because I really hate throwing it up. Thank you for pinning the comment, babe. I appreciate that. Plain penny with garlic and oil and diced tomatoes. Love that. I love adding some fresh broccoli. I also love just frying up. I'm gonna probably get hate for this. Frying up anchovies, like two or three cans of anchovies with chunky garlic. Oh my God, he took garlic in here. So I'm going to just throw the garlic in whole because I want the flavor, but I don't want the garlic to burn. And I do have my heat high right now because I also want my mushrooms to get nice color. So I'm just throwing in two handfuls of whole garlic. And if you don't like it, just eat around it. I don't like putting my garlic in in the beginning anyway because I do not like the taste of burnt bitter garlic. Um, and like I said, I have the stove pretty high. So. Yeah, some people will put it in whole and then they'll pick it out. But I'm like, you don't want to eat around it. If I'm having company over, I'll, I'll take it out, you know, but my husband doesn't care. Oh my God, I love that. Listen, if you're waking up early and you are telling me that I inspired you, you're showing up for yourself. That has nothing to do with me. Literally, it has nothing to do with me. It's you making healthy habits and you should be proud of yourself. It smells so bomb in here right now. <laughs> What brand of high chair? So I have this, the brand of the high chair is called the Abbey. It's A-B-B-I-E. I bought it on Amazon. I have the exact model in my Amazon storefront if you wanted to look in there. So the high chair is pricey. It's like over 200, but I've had the same. But anyway, I've had the same high chair from when I had Fina and when I had Mariella. I just bought extra parts for it. So I bought like this, I bought a new tray. I bought the plastic thing that goes on the tray. I bought these clasps, these plastic clasps on the side. So I spent like a, a couple of dollars on the high chair to begin with, but you can always buy pieces for it. I mean, I don't know if you're having any more kids, but um, I didn't have to buy an, another high chair with Marielle. I had it already. Oh, my pasta's boiling. Mocha 
Loki, what are you doing? Get over there. So I'm using Farafali. Do I have tips to get your baby on a schedule? So it really depends. Serafina was a very different baby and we had to really enforce schedules. I had to be a lot more strict with her. But Mariella kind of just like goes with the flow. What type of schedule are you trying to get her on? Are you trying to sleep train her? Are you trying to plan your naps? Like what are you trying to schedule? If you're here for the vibes, you're definitely in the right place. Because <laughs> I'm literally about to pour another drink. So you're definitely in the right place. I'm going to use probably like half a, half a box. And you guys know I'll use like whatever brand of pasta. Just because like I'm, I always say I'm born on a budget. Like I'll cut corners in certain places where I can. And if I can buy store bought pasta for a dollar fifty less, I will. But the checker was on sale. Okay, so we stocked up. We stocked up because I can't pay three fifty for a box of pasta. That's ridiculous. So these are baby bella mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms. I also have some fresh thyme in there, um, some balsamic, some chicken stock, butter, olive oil, and I'm going to be adding heavy cream like the last five minutes. So I don't really, people always ask me what kind of pot that I use. I really don't have like a specific pot that I use. I really just go into TJ Maxx and I buy which pots are cute and look good. <laughs> I don't have like matching pots. These, both of these Dutch ovens my mom got me, um, she bought me the first one that I have my pasta cooking in. That was my first one when I got my one bedroom apartment. It's half the size of this one. So I got upgraded. But people have asked me if they are Lake Cousettes. They are not Lake Cousettes. But if Lake Cousette wants to sponsor me, now that is a collab that I can get down with. Okay? That's like my freaking dream. No, but TJ Maxx has really nice, like, nonstick skillets. That's, that's what I use a lot of also. Um, and, you know, when they get shitty, I just get a different one. My husband doesn't really care about my social media. I don't, he's, like, not huge on social media. His job is, like, very time-consuming throughout the week that I think on the weekends he just likes to zone out, like, with nothing, no electronics, because he works with electronics during the week. Um, but he doesn't really care. He, he knows that I'm going to conduct myself in a way that respects him and my kids. So it is what it is. I'm my own person. But my husband supports me in whatever I choose to do. And that's a fact. Oh my God, I must have dropped an ice cube and it's just melting on my toes right now. <laughs> Yeah, my hubby is, it's not that I don't put him in the content, but when I'm here, he's with my kids. So it's either me or him. You want me, you, you want him? We'll switch. <laughs> will my kids eat this? My kids will eat anything that has pasta in it. They may eat around the mushrooms, but they will definitely eat the pasta. So I just put a little grated cheese. If anyone has followed me for a long time, as long as I serve up Serafina before I put the parsley in, we're all good. But if I give her a plate that has fresh parsley, the world's ending. But guys, doesn't this look delicious? I mean, really. Does that not look so good? <laughs> okay, so for Easter dinner, I'm either making lamb chops in the turkey or a boneless lamb leg that I'm going to stuff with like mint, fresh garlic, just like, I don't, I'm not sure like what my vibe is, but it's either going to be a stuffed legless, I mean, a stuffed boneless leg or lamb chops. It has to be some sort of lamb. Um, I'm going to probably do artichokes, stuffed mushrooms, probably some sort of mashed potato. You know, I'm going to do a pizza rustica. I will be sharing that. Um, but I'm going to make that closer to next week. I'm going to put the rest of this stock in. So if you guys see, I use this whole carton of stock and it's really not even soupy because it just soaks it up. That's what happens when you add it little by little um, instead of adding it all in at once. It just evaporates nicely and cooks down and makes its own gravy. 
So I'm using chicken sock, but if you're vegetarian, use, use vegetarian sock. But look at the color of that, beautiful. All right, let's clean up and let's make another drink. I'm gonna go see if I have more grapefruits, hold on. Just admire the beautiful mushrooms. I wish you could smell this, guys. It smells so freaking good. I had to get my fresh grapefruit guys because i am loving fresh grapefruits i posted a tiktok like a while while back before i was even pregnant with mariella because i've been trying to like make this tiktok a thing for a long time i was always pretty popping on instagram um but tiktok just was not vibing with me but now they like me i guess because here i am i have fresh i have fresh time in there as well mushrooms and time go hand in hand Hi, I am making a mushroom pasta, but right now I am making a drink. I am making, um, this is fresh grapefruit. Look how beautiful that is. Making creamy mushroom pasta and drinking fresh grapefruit juice with Tito's. Yes, that's what I'm doing, guys. See, I don't know if you were here for the beginning of this slide, but this grapefruit is a completely different consistency than the other grapefruit. The rind is way thicker, and it doesn't look like it has as much. Ooh. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. What is my comfort meal? Pastina. Chicken noodle soup. Split pea soup. Uh, my grandma used to make this vegetable soup. She would literally do I smoke. Weed is legal in my state. I'm just saying. My grandma used to make this vegetable soup all the time. That was literally at the end of the week. She would put whatever vegetables she had in the fridge. I'll make it for you next week for sure. I'll make a video. Whatever vegetables are in her fridge that need to be used, okay? She would boil them up in chicken stock with a ton of garlic, onion, like just, ar you know, aromatics and shit. And then she would put it in the blender. No cream or nothing, just literally like water and boiled vegetables. It sounds disgusting, but when you blend that, it is so freaking tasty. And she would also put carrots in it, so it would give it like a little sweetness. I'm going to totally make that on here, but it's probably going to do just as good as that macaroni and peas video I put up. I don't know if anybody was around for that, but no one likes that macaroni and peas I posted. So I'll probably get the same hate when I post that because it does not look good. It is not a look off, but you eat that with a grilled cheese. Never mind your tomato soup. You eat that with a grilled cheese. Guys, there's nothing like fresh grapefruit juice. Don't buy jar grapefruit juice. Get a juicer, why? Your hands are the best tool in the kitchen. I don't need another shit for my drawers. I don't like clutter, okay? I hate clutter. I think I just need a bigger house. So much juice, right? This is one whole grapefruit. And you know what? Grapefruit juice is very, very good for you. Very good for you. I have a P.O. Box. Yes, it's in my bio, the P.O. Box. I have made breakfast, breakfast for dinner, yes. But I feel like my kids get breakfast at breakfast, so I, I can't make it twice. You know what I mean? Let's check our pasta. Yeah, I can't do clutter. I can't. Let's put some ice in it. I literally love you. You guys are so cool. 
The first meal I made hubby. Baby, want to know what the first meal I made you was? Okay, so the first meal I made my husband was chicken cutlets. My husband still talks about this meal to this day, okay? Chicken cutlets, homemade macaroni and cheese. So wait, chicken cutlets with pita, pita luga sauce on the side. If you, anybody know what pita luga sauce is? It's like a dipping sauce that's also a steak restaurant, but the pita luga sauce with chicken cutlets, ridiculous, okay? So I made him ch uh, chicken cutlets with the dip, um, homemade mac and cheese. What did I make you, saute broccoli? And I think like uh, like, a, like a vegetable or whatever. But he loves mac and cheese, my husband. And I mean, who doesn't love good chicken collards? I was in it to win it with the pita luga sauce. And look where I am now. <laughs> so I guess the pita luga sauce is what won him over. The pita luga sauce and chicken collards, ridiculous. We do heavy pours around here, guys, because it's the weekend. Yeah, my husband still talks about that to this day. It's so funny that you asked that. It's two shots. This thing is literally... Did you see how much was left when I put the ice cubes in, guys? It's a whole grapefruit. Yes, I am going to do my cutlet recipe the next time I make it. Um, I just haven't made cutlets. I haven't made cutlets. Fridays are my wind down day. I feel like being a stay-at-home parent, you are on guard 24-7. Like, I am constantly worrying about somebody doing something, where they're going, who has to be here, what's due today, what's due tomorrow. On Friday night, leave me that alone. Really, because I need that to be prepared for the next week. We have been married for, it's going to be six years um, in July. We have been together for 11 years in June. <laughs> well, you could have the mushroom pasta, but the drink is gonna have to take a back seat for now. <laughs> I don't know what Taylor Port is, what is that? Guys, I've said earlier in this live, if you know someone who can do eyebrows well, I usually do tint, I mean, I usually do wax, I will do thread, whatever, I don't even care at this point, and I get tint. I need someone who does eyebrows. So please, spam me, DM me, the eyebrow place. I love my girl to death. She is amazing wherever she is, but she's leaving the state. Taylor Port is wine, oh. I like Sauvignon Blanc. I can't really drink the sweet wines because I get such a headache and I still need to be like a parent the next day. Like when I drink something like this, the fresh grapefruit juice with the vodka, I, I, I'm fine the next day because it's just, you know, quite, not like the best vodka, but it's pretty decent vodka and you're drinking fresh citrus. It's basically healthy, guys. I'm basically just taking my vitamins. <laughs> All right, let me try a pasta. It's a fruit salad. <laughs> it's just a fruit salad, guys. No worries. Close the cabinet. Ma, don't you know by now we don't close cabinets around here? God, she's the only one I listen to. She's the only one I listen to. Not done. Still hard. Yeah, Tito's is zero club. I agree. We keep cabinets open around here. Yeah, if you like me, you should really meet my mom. She's out of her mind. But my mother doesn't like to be on the camera. And you know what? It's probably better off because she'll probably get me in trouble. Babe, I have every, the, the uh, pasta on the top. Like five minutes. But you can come up whenever you want, whenever they're over it. Cheers. My husband's with my kids.
it's like I, I, mean, I, I honestly, if you scroll on my TikTok and look at my videos, the cabinets are always open. It's like so intentional. Do I go out and drink? I, I mean, I have two kids, and me and my husband don't really go out and do much of anything. <laughs> Like, you know, often at least, but we try to make the best of it. We'll have like little, you know, we'll enjoy a drink at home together. But when I'm out, I like to have a nice glass of wine when with my dinner. Yes. My husband usually opens the pool the last week of May and he goes swimming when it's like zero degrees. He's out of his fucking mind, but he'll swim in that pool. Like when it's an ice cube, I love like to sit outside and get tan and jump in the pool. Like when I'm so hot from getting tan that I can't even breathe, but I'm not like a huge, like, Oh, I'm going to just go for a swim. Like I'm, I'm not that person. I will sit by it all day. I'll, you know, cool off, dip in, dip out, but I can really take a leave it. My husband, on the other hand, literal fish he will fucking be in that pool all day my kids too they love being in the pool my husband is from staten island i do thread i mean i do wax but at this point i need someone who does something so who wants to, who wants to do my eyebrows obviously i'm trying to i'm not trying to get it for free i'll pay i am cooking mushroom pasta so right now i have it on pretty high because I'm letting the mushrooms soak up the juice. There's mushrooms, onion, olive oil, butter, some balsamic, chicken stock. Um, what else did I put, guys? Fresh thyme. And like the last few minutes, once my pasta is done, I'm going to toss in some cream. Let's see if it's done. Because I don't want it to be completely done because I want to just finish it in the sauce. Oh my God. I love mushrooms so much. It's like one of my favorite things. I can eat mushrooms and not even meat. Perfect. I'm going to strain it and then we're going to toss it all. So I'm going to put just like, honestly, just like a quarter cup. Like this isn't a cream sauce. I'm not trying to make it a cream sauce. I just want to just make the the sauce like a little luscious you know like a little velvet on your tongue you know what i mean see how it doesn't look like a cream sauce it's not what i don't want it to be a cream sauce just a little like mm, a little creaminess because you're also going to be putting cheese you know like i'm not i don't really love these super heavy pastas guys i didn't have music on this whole time how did nobody tell me that i'm usually jamming over here You guys can come up, Sarah Phoenix is at the table. <coughs> Alright, Sarah Phoenix Rose. Can you come up and help me set the table? Please? Yeah, I definitely do want you to. Okay? Thank you, I'm waiting. <coughs> All right, I'm going to turn this down now because if you have it too high, it will curdle. So once you put your cream in, you want to lower your heat. Pro tip. Ooh, someone got away. One of them got away. I need a paper towel. Oh, I mean a dish towel. Hold on. At the table, my dear. What are you apologizing for? From your pizza. So I definitely like more pasta than mushroom. That was like the vibe I was going for. Obviously, you do what you want. But I like when I eat pasta and it's like equal the amount of whatever's in it plus the pasta. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use a different spoon. So I'm gonna turn my heat down. Guys, does this not look delicious? Let's see if I can make you like a little closer. Then you can't see me. Then you can't see my beautiful face though. Don't you wanna see me too? 
I'm just kidding. See how like it made its own sauce? So now I'm just turning it up. I want to just tighten it up a little bit. I'm going to put in some cheese. Yes, my darling. Don't worry, I didn't put any parsley in yet. No parsley yet. No parsley yet. Can I see it? What do you think? You can eat around the mushrooms, baby. It's just like a garlic and oil. Okay. I love that tomato sauce. I can see it. See, guys, like, yes, my daughter has a wide, you know, variety of stuff that she eats, but she also doesn't eat everything. She will eat this, though, so don't let her fool you. You're not going to eat just the, look, look at this without the mushroom. Let me show you without the mushroom before you talk shit, okay? You won't eat it like that with, with some grated cheese? Yes. Okay. As long as she don't see green, she's cool. Kids, guys. Kids are kids. It is what it is. I'm not fighting with them. I will not fight at dinner every night. I say this all the time. This is my new thing. I'm not fighting with you over homework, and I'm not fighting with you over dinner. I'm not. You're not hungry? No problem. Eat a freaking yogurt. I'm not fighting with you. I refuse. Let me just make sure this isn't expired before I dump it on my pasta. <laughs> all right, we're good. I'm going to put this, sh like... Actually, I'm going to top it with that. I'm going to put the grated in. All right, I'm going to shut it off now. Pick your battles. A hundred percent. Exactly. Like, she had already today what she ate. She had breakfast. She had snack. She had lunch at school. Then my husband picked her up and took her to get pizza. She had 73 meals already. So if she doesn't eat dinner, it's because she's not hungry. She said, can you put tomato sauce on it? Yeah, that's what she wants. Because she associates pasta with tomato sauce. You know? Kids. Oh, kids. I just love being a parent. I tell my daughter all the time, you want to do your homework like shit? You want to be late for school? These are all things that's going to affect you. They're not going to affect me. If you don't do your homework properly, you're going to get in trouble. You're late for school, you're going to get in trouble. Sometimes you need to let them get in trouble and figure it out. I mean, she's in kindergarten, so obviously, you know, it's not that serious right now. But we'll see. Babe, look how good this looks. Ooh. I'm going to make that place in the middle. Really? Yeah. 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 Um, you want to do paper or what? Yeah, why not? I should I do these little bowls? Yeah, I'll do these little bowls. Just the mushrooms, babe, I would cut them up like in little sticks because they're kind of like, you know, the consistency yeah. of them for Mariella. Okay. So before I put in my fresh herbs, I feed my kids. Mariella would probably eat whatever. It doesn't really matter for her because she's, you know, at that age, they just eat whatever you give them, basically. You could bring the grated cheese to the table, too. So. Oh, you know what? Let me try not to even give my daughter mushrooms. Let me. That's for Mariella. I'm going to make Serafina plate right now. Because if she doesn't see them, she kind of, like, forgets about them, you know? Well, I add peas, sure. I would even fry this up with like chunks of prosciutto first and then add like everything else. You know, even though I ate meat today, I really like it was seriously unintentional, but it is what it is, guys. I tried my best, Jesus. <laughs> um, so if she doesn't see them, if she doesn't see the mushrooms, it's probably going to be like, you know, she don't really mind as much. Listen, you do what you gotta do as a parent. I am from Howard Beach, Queens. Yes. I really enjoy our lives together, and there was a ton of people on today. I feel like we had a, it was like a, a like the perfect vibe that I wanted for my life. But you guys know it's like kind of sporadic. When my hubby's home, I try to hop on because I know that he's here with my kids. Um... Otherwise, I don't normally hop on live. But I do enjoy it. Like, I really do. Oh, 
Oh, you're the best, Serapina Rose. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one of those white balls. Okay. You want paper? Give me that. Oh, yeah. You put the regular cheese, right? I'm gonna serve up my hubby. It's National Cocktail Day. Well, I am definitely participating. Guys, I'm using a paper plate. Please don't abuse me for it, okay? I'm tired. All right, and my dishwasher, my dishwasher right now is clean, which means I need to clean it out before I even do the dishes. I'm gonna put mine in a bowl, is that okay? You don't like my pasta in a bowl. New Bug Pizza is my favorite also, but I don't get to eat it as much because I don't really go there. I go there probably like, what do we go there? Like every six weeks I would say? Where? To Queens. Yeah. My fam my mom still lives there. Babe, there's there's chunks of garlic in there, so if you don't want to just eat around them. What? My mom still lives there. Um so I do go there pretty often. But I'm gonna take a bite with you guys and then I'm gonna hop off and eat dinner with my family. I did put heavy cream. I put heavy cream already. You missed it? You weren't here for the heavy cream? Excuse me, Mom. Yes, my darling. Uh, can we have movie night today? You want to? In the basement? In the basement? Sure. Uh, what movie do you wanna watch? Uh, whatever you want. You pick, Bubba. No, I want you to pick. You're the best one. I want you to pick. All right, pick well, dinner. pick. You like my dinner, so go enjoy it. And, and Mama, can, you can pick whatever movie you want. We'll pick together, okay? Okay. Fridays are usually on movie night. Can I, can I always, I always get. Oh, my pasta, my pasta. I always get ready for you. Yeah. So I'll get ready for the movie. Oh, but we have to you. Yeah, I bought you. What? What is that? My, it's the popcorn you cook on the stove. I can do it. Perfect for movie night, I mean, movie I mean, night. We'll cook it after dinner. Wait, why is it kernels? There's popcorn. It's buttery popcorn. Oh, yeah. We need a make. Yeah, I bought that for you. <laughs> How did you do that, Mama? You're the best. Well, can I cook it? Can You're you the best, babe. It? You can watch me cook it. You can't cook it. It's too hot, babe. It's going to get too hot. Wait, Mama. Yes, babe. Kernels turned into Honestly, popcorn. you need the fresh parsley here. You need, like, that fresh bite. You need it. Mom, Chewie, I'm going to put butter in it for you. Butter? No, there's butter in it, babe. Look. That's all butter. Go sit and eat. I'm da, da, Mommy's da, coming da, too. Da, 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 da. Mommy's oh, coming too. Da, da, da. Mama's coming too. Let me just get her plate. Really? Yeah, Alright guys. This is like the perfect Lent meal, I feel like. Because the mushrooms like still make it super meaty. I'm gonna go sit with my family, but let's take a bite because I cooked with you. So good. Let's see what my hubby thinks. And then I'm gonna hop it off. But guys, look how pretty it looks. We just cooked that together. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Let's see what my hubby thinks. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop off. We're gonna eat dinner. Thank you for joining. It was fun. Have a great night, guys.